Thank you very much for staying with us. If you're just joining in, this is The Morning Bigel on NCBN. Now, there are reports that we currently are experiencing a cholera surge and miss COVID-19. As much as that's a sad situation, it's important for us to know about this situation because you know what they say, when you know better, you do better. We have someone here who will be helping us understand the current health situation concerning this issue. We have Bulema Korode, who is a pillar lead risk communication and community engagement person on cholera control FCT. Hello and welcome. Yeah, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good Good great. You. And then let's get into it. Um, these reports are saddening, but also um, it's important that we have conversations surrounding them. Can you enlighten us on the current situation? Yeah. Exactly. We have a, a report of sus suspected uh, cholera in FCT yeah. earlier this month. So as soon as possibly, the uh, operation, emergency operations center or public health department, uh, having had the information, sprang into action. They went to the areas that are uh, suspected to have cholera, like DAD. Uh, uh, Wasa and other places. They went there, they supervised the scene, then they came back to the office, they made their report to the uh, minister through the health, uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services Secretary. There, uh, thereby, the minister asked that uh, this, uh, secretary acting, the acting Secretary of Health and Human Services should have a press conference informing people about the suspected outbreak of uh, cholera. Exactly, where we recorded uh, saying suspected because uh, as that last week, there's a reported cases of about 90, 91 cases across the, uh, the FCT, which out of it uh, has seven deaths. But in that seven deaths, uh, it was three confirmed by the rapid uh, diagnosis test, it is compound cholera suspected in FCT. Okay, now, uh, seeing that we are in the middle of a pandemic, the yes. coronavirus uh, disease has been ravaging not just yes. the country, but the entire world. And coming down to Nigeria, mm -hmm. uh, we know that the government uh, and agencies that are saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that uh, some of these diseases are curbed yes. they are at the top of their game yes. and then we have an outbreak of cholera yeah. killing people in the fct yes uh what measures are being taken we know that this is the rainy season and yes. this is the season for cholera yes uh, in situations where people do not kill, keep their environments or their houses clean Yes. What are the measures being taken to ensure that this problem is curbed at its early stage so it doesn't, you know, blow out of proportion? You know, cholera occurs annually and most uh, importantly around rainy seasons. It occurs around uh, rainy seasons. Yes. Most importantly in the areas where there is poor sanitation, overcrowding, uh, people are not observing uh, proper sanitations where there are people practices open defecation. So it is not a new issue. We know it's happened yearly. Uh, coming that uh, COVID-19 is ravaging the, the nation and uh, the world at, uh, at, uh, large. at large. We have been we have been trying our best, and you, uh, you have seen on record, uh, especially FCT has done its best to contain the uh, COVID-19, uh, which we have experienced, and now we are about to be leveraged from the COVID-19. Yeah. While yeah. you're talking, I realize that yes. perhaps it is important for us to actually shine light on yes. the illness in itself. Yes. I mean, sanitation and hygiene yes. is a, a big um, factor in this. Exactly. But can we understand really how this illness works, you know, 
you have a dirty environment, but how does it affect, how does it become a disease as this? Maybe, you know, just making people aware of the illness and how it works should also encourage us in taking proper care of our environment. Yes, I'm coming. Yeah. Uh, while the burden of uh, COVID-19 is still going on, uh, this are not limiting the ability of the state to contain the uh, cholera uh, uh, outbreak. As soon as I have uh, mentioned it, already we have taken some med modalities. The risk communication has been taken all across, giving people awareness, creation awareness, awareness and uh, uh, this, the, the uh, emergency operation has repositions some modalities in all uh, health facilities across the FCT. They are putting all the necessary things that may occur, which uh, cholera patient occur, they will treat it and they will take action on it. We have been given awareness. EF, uh, EFBP has been trying to uh, take care of the sanitation. And, uh, Me, I would appreciate that yeah. on this set, yes. you speak to the people who are listening to us about yeah. the illness. You yes. know, in case someone is watching right now yes. and they have no idea about this illness exactly. and yes. how it affects their yes. environment and how it comes about, yes. can you do us the favor of explaining? Exactly, you know? that's uh, prevention of uh, cholera is very easy, but to people that do, that doesn't know, is that's how it caused to uh, spread uh, uh, into communities. Yeah, you know, cholera is an uh, uh, is a fecal oral uh, disease. Okay. It's uh, caused by bacteria from uh, uh, feces of an infected person. Yes. So when this uh, feces or uh, uh, bacteria come in contact of the water or food that people use to consume, definitely people will be catch up with the cholera. So the, the most important thing is practicing of personal hygiene. The personal hygiene which includes the regular washing of hands. That is when uh, before visiting and after visiting toilet, before eating and after eating food, people used to, uh, people should wash their hands thoroughly. Then drink safe water. That's water from wells and, and tough waters. Then people should be, uh, be, be the people should uh, avoid defica open defecation because it's the fees uh, uh, the uh, that are contained with the viral uh, the bacteria, bacteria that water will wash it and contaminate it, the, the sources of water and the foods so likewise uh, eating food especially uh, fruit and vegetables should be washed as if possibly peel it before wash and wash it before eating no. then foods like from uh, sea foods should be cooked well before consumed. These are modalities that are. Yeah, you, you earlier mentioned uh, mm -hmm. something about sensitization, uh, you know, given the general public out there information about how to keep their environments clean yeah. and how to stay clear of the bacteria that causes cholera. Yeah. Uh, is your organization doing this hand in hand with? any agency out there say for instance the national orientation agency of course we all know nigeria yes, 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 certainly yes. listen to the noa yes. more than any other agency when it comes to sensitization on issues uh relating to health or any other national issue are you working hand in hand with the noa and if if yes how uh can you give us some insight into yeah this? exactly right from the inception that uh, we had uh, we had a suspected case of cholera the acting secretary of health and human services FCT directed that uh, emergency operation to contain cholera should be instituted. Uh, at, uh, on last Friday, the uh, operation was uh, instituted, and uh, we have co-opted uh, partners like uh, NC NC NCDC, yes. uh, uh, UNICEF, uh, World WHO, the um, NOAA. Uh, you said many others uh, partners, but no would us to contain this cholera uh, outbreak. Well, this is something that uh, most people would have ordinarily thought that yeah. by now, mm -hmm. uh, Nigeria, sh Nigeria as a whole, should have, uh, you know, gone over. It's it's not something that people would expect mm -hmm. could take lives yes. at this point in time. Yes, because of course. 
people are becoming more hygienic yes and also they are more uh, medical uh, uh, groundbreaking uh, medical uh, oh, researches right. that have been done yeah. you know to ensure that health is maintained across you know the general uh, public yeah. but I think of, of recent we saw a video of um, somebody selling coconuts yeah mm -hmm. and then washing those coconuts from a gutter and then placing it or from a drainage just by the roadside and then putting putting it back on a tree to obviously go and resell mm -hmm. now little things like that mm -hmm. that might seem so insignificant do you think they could be major sources or major uh instances where we find cases of uh cholera that can kill yeah you know uh well government are doing its best at the other hands the level of uh, our knowledge in the communities are not the same uh, while doing how to contain or how to educate people that uh, they should use the proper way of uh, uh, creating food or, or giving uh, food that people will consume. There are, at the other hand, people are making mischief in order just to earn their living. They can say at, at they, will, they can go at all level just to earn their living. Yes. But uh, I'm assuring that uh, uh, environmental Abuja, Abuja environmental. Uh, uh, a board yeah. is trying their best. You can see that uh, on the street they are catching people that are doing all this uh, selling without uh, due license. Now, uh, and uh, uh, yeah. in our in the public health department, there is a division, there is a unit as environmental and occupational health. They used to like those uh, uh, food vendors. Yes, we do regularly. Uh, 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 medical chalk up to satisfy that these pe those people are handling the food they are well and that the food they are selling to people are well for consume. Mr. Korode, yes. uh, one of my biggest concern is the fact that we are having this issue in the federal capital city yes. and it would appear that these issues um, are particular to communities though in the rural side yes. what we would refer to sometimes as the ghetto so, do we not see a direct correlation between poverty and, you know, the economic imbalance yeah. and this particular illness? Yeah. Because, again, as Chijoke mentioned, one would expect that in, this, in the time that we live in, people shouldn't be defecating on the streets. Yes. We are expected to be an urban city. Yes. But then it begs the question, how urban is a federal capital city? And doesn't this point to a lack of infrastructure and development in the country? Yeah, you know, the cholera right now is not in a city as we all believe, but it's within around uh, the villages that uh, people are living in, a, uh, in overcrowding. Uh, people, uh, the sanitation are generally poor there. So, um, uh, FCT is doing its best. FCT is being doing its best. Uh, sorry, please. Um, FCT is doing its best by creating awareness to the people to uh, uh, look and chronic of all, all the communities. We have been there right uh, since early, uh, earlier this month, before the coming of the corona uh, cholera outbreak. We have set up a group went to all area councils to activate the uh, ward and facility development committees, yeah. alerting them this is what is coming on, uh, so we should be ready, we'll be ready, create awareness to people. All this we have been doing. Okay, so um, how far would you say uh, the activities of your organization mm -hmm. uh, have gone yeah. in terms of sensitization are mm -hmm. you recording a, a reasonably amount a reasonably high amount of success in terms of letting people yes. know the dangers of some of these acts that could lead to yes. diseases yes like this and mm -hmm. also 
um, are you helping out in any way? Say, pr probably providing uh, toilets or latrines f for the general public to use hygienic ones, yes. not like the ones they are used to, or yes. you know, uh, defecating in the op uh, in, in the open. Are you doing anything uh, in line with that? Yeah, uh, largely we depend on creating awareness creation okay. to the community. Now, first, if you educate the people. They know what they are doing. They know that some uh, things are bad for their life. Uh, for their life, they too they can do in order to avoid uh, catching with uh, other uh, some diseases. Then we encourage government uh, like area council. I know I can uh, pick from uh, Buari area council. Apart from the what the community are doing by themselves, the Kwari, uh, the uh, Buari area council, the chairman encourages. Uh, all communities and families, uh, they are digging pit latrine to them inside their houses okay. so that they can be using in order to uh, avoid this uh, uh, open defecation. Yeah. Then there's a program going on by public health department carry out exercisation, especially to the communities that are practicing, most are practicing this open defecation. So very soon we will go, uh, we'll, uh, go out with this program and everybody will see it on there on, on there yeah mm -hmm. so what would be your message mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. uh to not just the general public but also uh sister agencies uh you know to come together put all hands on deck to stop this menace that is ravaging the the, the capital city mm -hmm. and imagine having seven deaths out of 91 cases in the capital city what will happen in states that are less developed than the FCT. Yeah, while we are doing our best, we also urge other agencies, especially water board, water board, yeah. that uh, at least they should try their best to provide water, safe water for people to drink. Well, that way, we will have a, a less uh, a spread of uh, our cholera uh, disease. Then we are urging other. Uh, agencies like WASH, Environmental Occupation uh, Protection Board, they, they are helping us in the clearing the uh, refuses that are contaminating our source of food. Then other states, they too, I know they are all doing, they are, they are doing their best. So coming, uh, all hands are decks, or yeah. we will contain the spread of uh, uh, cholera in FCT and across Nigeria at all. Yeah. At all right. Thank you very much uh, mm. for sharing your thoughts and your time with us. And um, I would say more power to the work that you do. And we hope to have a safe FCT for everyone. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.